No trucks from. Hey, what is this? Ah. Can I put this camera away somehow? Thank you. I have probably just played too much video games, but when I see wolves, I'm running the hell away. This game, on the other hand, probably focuses on the more realistic aspect where the wolf would run away from the human, not the other way around. So, uh, who closed that? Yeah, they were just eating here. Let's be known, you're nothing more Hate than a was in the air. Seems like some villagers barely tolerated each other. Robert, a garbage holder, white beliege, a monster. You're holding a knife at my throat, too bad for me, but... Okay then. Too bad for him. Carl was no electrician, but he could identify a wiring problem when he saw one. Uh, hmm. Well, we seem to be on our first uh, first puzzle here. Well, second, technically. Can I first... Uh... The pumps wouldn't surrender their divine nectar so easily. In all likelihood, they had to be switched on from inside the store. Something fell to the bottom of the box. Oh boy. Well, we need to be... Sorry, just digging through your trash. Sorry. <laughs> Canadians. Well then, let's go in. Well done. Carl had no trouble recognizing his employer. He had been killed. There was no need to be a detective to figure that out. But only a detective could have noticed that the killer had to have been very close. That the fatal blow had been given before the victim even realized. Well done. Let's see. What could be inside that envelope? It's the John Carl was taken aback. He knew this address. It was said to be the address of the P.O. box for the Canadian Secret Service. Well done. Yeah, this place is a mess. Well, let's check the op. An explosion suddenly occurred outside. Let's check out the obvious at first. Which one is the... The open. Carl knew that Gilles guys. Lachance was in charge of the general store. That made him one of Hamilton's employees. A very angry employee, as Carl could plainly see. 
would you would you mind reading this uh, instead of instead of uh, an, you know narrating something else? Because I, I want to read these things, but if you are going to you know interrupt me, uh, whatever. You know what, Hamilton? I have a frog in my throat. Okay. And when people have a frog in their throat, they do not take risks by going to work. Customers could catch it, right? I'm a wise man. Not to worry, I will have a nice doctor's note which I am going out to get now. Sadly, in the meantime, I will have to close down the shop. Unless you would like to like to come uh, fill, me, fill in for me. I wouldn't dare advise you, after all. You must know how it's done since it's yours now. Since it's yours now. With kind regard, you dedicate the manager, Gilles. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. So either the generator finally blew up, or someone broke it. The note explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. Well, neither place is going to be supplied with uh, electricity until I fix that thing. Okay, it's a post office. I'll just, you know, help myself. Is it getting go gold in here? Nope. And I I cannot jump in here. This place is too too shallow for jumping. A radiator without power is as good as a wood stove without logs. I mean eh, true enough. So there is unbranded cans. They are branded. Yeah, not working. Why did I need to do that? Oh, I could not reach that from between the... Yeah, it's not going to work. I need to... There we go. Well done. According to that log, it seemed like the whole village owed some money to the general store. Well, Carl was far more interested in the bunch of nearby addresses he had just gotten his hands on, though. I mean... It it's credit, so... There we go. Now we can open the garage. Close the door. Okay, moving on. We don't need this now. Well then, this didn't seemingly go too well. Ooh, black and windows. The crowbar was stuck under the lift. Notwithstanding Carl's imposing stature, car lifting wasn't part of his skill set yet. Car lifting? <laughs> okay, so now we can fix the generator up. That's good. So, time to fix that shit up. Lots of running back and forth, I can tell ya. Okay. There we go.
go. Turn on the door. Cash register, punch the price, two numbers, minimum, press sale, to turn the crank two times, punch the machine if it doesn't work. Okay. Oh. There we go. So let's check that this wasn't a... Yeah, we can tell that it wasn't a... It was just a murder. So let's... Uh... Let's uh, get this thing done. Carl yes, knew yeah. straight away where to find the infuriated Gilles Lachance. Any good investigation would have to start there. The murder weapon. Well done. What was that doing there, Carl wondered. Hamilton must have been determined to keep some information secret to post this key. Shame he got unlucky. Everything made sense now. Poor Hamilton's denunciation was interrupted, and he figured it would be best to lock everything up and send the key to his correspondent, who would receive the box later on. Hmm. Clever, but not enough. That's what happens to ordinary people playing spy. Letter from Hamilton. It is as a citizen of Her Majesty and Free Economic Chambers of the World that I must address what follows to the pro proper authorities. The worst is happening at this very moment. I cannot write at length, but I am requesting immediate help from my country. I believe the free world is in great danger. A member of my community, the Honorable, immediately dead. That's good enough. At long last, the crowbar was within Carl's grasp. Surely it would come in handy at some point. Probably. Uh. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, let's not leave everything on. Because someone is inheriting this place. There we go. Okay, it's probably about time to... Okay, can I... Turn that off. I don't exactly know how wise this is. A 
but hey. I'm an investigator. Okay, these guys are not going to run, run away. So. Carl never thought he would be dancing with the wolves. Shush! Need a what? Okay then. I need that thing. Mm. I said I'm not quite sure of how good of an idea this is. don't want to go into the water. It's probably quite cold at this time of year. Carl, ever diligent in his work, always carried his log on him. And okay. Can I, uh... There we go. Which he scribbled down thoughts and leads alike during the course of his investigations. Carl never thought he would be dancing with the wolves. How many times are you going to repeat that? Go away. That's the general store. There we go. What's our health look like? It's good enough. Pretty sure that the that the car would have been faster, but you know, I hate driving. I really do hate driving. Wondered how long he would have to endure this skin stinging cold. Hold on. The Polaroid, Carl's long standing and faithful ally, has seen a share of husbands caught red handed cheating. There's always something out there waiting to be snapped away. That's weird. Oh, so we have gold. Uh, no, we're not even really. The air was freezing, right down to the bone. Was that the Lord Almighty's doing? A huge block of unnatural, glowy ice had swallowed that poor woman's body. Huh? What, what sort of what? supernatural force could have conjured this? What's going on here? Something huh. was hidden under the stairs. Man grabbed his rifle. Carl felt a sense of dread in him. Nothing useful here. What is going on? Third run to 